Hi and welcome to the next workshop 5.2, which is the shell pressure vessel using FEA model for ANSYS meshing. Um, so again here the background um, is to allow us to mesh a, cell, a shell pressure vessel. The objectives is to generate a quadrilateral mesh using size function, local mesh controls, for face sizing and applying an inflation. Uh, so the first things first, again here we want to grab uh, a mesh component, drop it off. And we're going to import in a pressure vessel um, SD doc. So again, import browse. And what we're looking for here is the pressure vessel document file. Open that, double click on mesh. Okay, so once this has come through, let's just quickly make sure that our units for this workshop are correct so that they need to be in centimeters. And as you can see here, um, there's quite a few components uh, for this specific model um, and we just want to know that this is a multi-body um, uh, part so the key locations of interest is the stress between these three here and these two down here um, so they're the most important parts within this given statement problem so what we want to do is to make sure that we apply inflation to these areas and generally keep everything else also similar as well. So first things first, make sure that the mesh is mechanical. Um, we also want to make sure that the size is two to five centimeters. We want to open up uh, the capture of the curvature and a proximity. Um, so here, capture curvature, yes. Capture proximity, also yes as well. And again, as I said, the element size is turned to five centimeters. So let's quickly just generate the mesh. I would like to point out that this process does take some time, so please do bear with it, even though it may look like nothing's happening. Um, just give it some time um, and it will complete the meshing part of it. So once we've got this done, uh, we can view the actual mesh itself and let's have a look at the um, element quality. So Go to the quality and um, change this one to element quality and let's open this up a little bit here and what we can see is the values that are provided look very similar here um, again you can just open this up a little bit and it will give you your uh, value that we need um, on this side here okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to insert in a method um, and the method that we want to insert um, is to select all of it and put in a different scoping method. So mesh insert method um, control A, apply, and there should be 20, 21 uh, bodies. And what we're going to do is change that to uh, multi zone quad try. We want to make sure that the uh, is uniform, um, user global, all quad. Um, here and the five centimeters by default set to five, which is good. So we want to just update the mesh. So I click update, and again, here now it's been changed, and we can look at our quality as well. Um, and also making sure that the mesh contains 100% quad um, elements in this as well, uh, which we can see. So if we zoom in to um, on this. If we zoom into this, we can see that you know these ones are slightly a little bit more different compared to else, um, all the other models. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that you know these are a bit more defined. Uh, the mesh needs to be a little bit more refined around these areas. So what we're going to do is um, check on key elements that are also um, um, in a bad statement here, um, and they are around these areas here. Um, as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix some uh, local sizings um, and what we're going to do is the local face sizings. So here we've got three faces um, from here. We can probably extend the limits. Nope. 
also want to select these. Also, there's five faces here. And also, there's one face down here that we want to select. This one here. And just the out faces here. Okay, uh, mesh, insert, sizing. And there should be 20 faces. So that's right about correct. And what we want to do with those 20 faces, the element size is only 1.5 centimeters. And the behavior, we want it to be hard um, as they are points of interests. So now if we just generate the mesh, and what you'll find is the mesh is a lot more finer around those areas and sections, as you can see uh, from zooming into your model, uh, which is a little bit more better and it'll give you a lot more accuracy. And you can set the mesh matrix to none. Um, so down here, if you go to mesh matrix, put that to none, go up to display, and in here, if we select the element quality, you'll be able to see the quality of your mesh in terms of the mesh matrix. So we can also improve this section here uh, by creating inflation into the model. So what we want to do is right click on the mesh, insert inflation. And the inflation is going to be one face. So here, select this face, press apply. and what we want to do is the uh, hide the mesh obviously first so we can see what we're doing uh, I've got this face selected and what we want to do now is obviously select some boundaries um, so the boundary and scoping method um, and here what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, the edges um, that's needed and the five edges so one two three four five press apply, it's going to be total thickness, and then here its number of layers is 5, 1.1 for the growth rate, and then here it's going to be 7 centimeters. Okay, so once we've done that, we need to add some edge sizing to these um, edges, so what we're going to do is just these two edges first because they're a different diameter compared to these three. So again, select the edge tool, one, two, right click, insert sizing, two edges, number of divisions is going to be 50. So 50, and we want them to be hard. And then if we select the following three edges, right click, insert sizing, and then these ones here are going to be, number of divisions is going to be um, 35. So number of divisions is 35. And again, the behavior is also hard. So once you've done that, we can then update the mesh. So again, right click mesh um, update. And what you will find out is once you turn the mesh on, um, to change that back to just use geometry, we will see that there is inflation applied around those areas of key interest. Okay, uh, and that's it for this uh, vessel um, tutorial.